Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for what I hope for many of you has been a triumphant Tuesday to another YouTube video. This is just going to be our daily cryptocurrency market update and boy oh boy are we going to be getting into some pretty significant news. You know there's a lot going on um, and the first thing that I really want to urge people to do is if you're not already following me on Twitter head over and follow me on Twitter. Um, yesterday and this is where we're really going to start this video off we put out a thread essentially talking about the fact that markets were looking very weak and the next spill may be about to take place for Bitcoin and crypto and the equity market into the CPI data reveal, which is tomorrow, and earnings season. Um, and we looked at the fact that the Fed is now, near-term inflation expectations hit record high, New York Fed uh, survey suggests. Um, and this is from the near-term, you know, this is essentially the Fed giving their outlook on what inflation may be um, in the near-term. If we get a higher print, Markets are going to continue to tank. And they've already sold off, starting from Sunday night, into this event taking place. If we get a bad CPI print and we get a bad earnings data, that's a bad outlook. This is why we're not having any part in terms of being an investor in this market. All these bottom callers, all these, you know, the, the same people have been calling bottoms on Bitcoin since 69k. And we weren't the first people out. We got out around about the, the mid-40k range. But I'm happy with that. You know, ultimately, we didn't get out at 69. We didn't even get out at 50. We got out, but we got out with enough time, you know. And ultimately, I think this market goes lower before it goes higher. Still hold crypto, just in case we're wrong, but it's a small part of my overall um, net worth. The next part of this thread was, look thread was looking at expectations. So the consensus is coming out 20 basis points higher than the previous one. That would be bad. We then spoke about something that I, we are the only channel that's mentioned this and i didn't even know what the euro dollars was until i had david bell on the show to talk to me about it euro dollars is a way for them to essentially um it's a way for markets to look at interest rates and how aggressive they're going to be the further down it goes the more aggressive they think the market's going to be in terms of the fed uh, and how hawkish they're going to be to me this looks like it just broke this was last night by the way guys when we put this tweet out so i think bitcoin was still above 20k yeah Around about 20k500. Uh, you can see the correlation. You've also got the start of earnings, which you can see here, starting with PepsiCo um, today. And then we have JP Morgan Chase. Um, we've got Citigroup, Morgan Stanley, and Wells Fargo on Thursday and Friday, straight after the CPI print. So the CPI print's bad, earnings are bad. The earnings that we get today for PepsiCo, we'll see where that lies. But if that's bad, that's going to be a precursor into what we're heading towards. You know, ultimately, we think the markets are in real pain. And if earnings are bad, of course, you look at the correlation that we have between Bitcoin in orange, the NASDAQ or the NASDAQ composite, this is in blue, and the stock and the S&P, you know, it, it's not a very bright future uh, moving forwards for the cryptocurrency market in regards to the short term. Long term, I think this market is going to survive and absolutely thrive. Blockchain is very much a technological re revolution that's going to change all our lives, but we've got some chop to get through. And the thing is with this downtrend is there's no reason for as to suggest that it's going to change anytime soon. Not only are your volume spikes intensifying and not very much dropping off, showing that the sell pressure has really gone away, but look at your demand index. There's no divergence there. Look at your money flow index. No divergence there. Look at your accumulate and distribute index, which most people probably don't even know what these indexes are. Since the high, okay, maybe you could say you had a bit of a deviation there, but since this sell-off, it's very much a downtrend. Look at your RSI. This should have been a big sign to get out at 69 that we didn't take because you made a new high. Hindsight is always 2020 20, on lower volume across the board, lower RSI, lower demand, you know, you name it. Um, it, it was kind of screaming at you and lower volume just on a simple basic volume outlook. So there's nothing to suggest that this, this trend is about to change yet. Um, something we speak about with my Patreons, you know, Sunday we gave a briefing essentially saying, look, expect this this week, expect volatility. And you're here today. Certainly, if we do get that higher print for the CPI, I think that's going to be rather catastrophic for markets. You know, I really do believe that. Um, because they're, 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 they're looking for the adverse reaction to the CPI is, of course, if it comes out lower. Markets will take relief from that, I believe. Um, I really do believe they will take relief from that. But I think, um, you know, ultimately, um, look, we're getting some news actually in here from PepsiCo raises revenue. Outlook after sales and profits to expectations. So I'll have to read through this later. Um, earnings per share. 
adjusted versus expected. Okay, so they've actually come out quite well. Um, so that's a good sign because Pepsi, by the way, when Pepsi goes down and the sales in Pepsi drop, then you really know your consumer's in trouble. Markets may take that a little bit positive, but really they're all kind of stalling. And, and the reason we're getting this sell-off into the CPI print is because people won't want to re leave that risk on the table. I'll probably close the shorts that I've got before the CPI print. Um, maybe even today going into the CPI print. This is from the EU. EU to raise inflation forecasts as officials prepare for a permanent cut to Russian gas. We, show, we mentioned this yesterday. Essentially right now, I think Russia's cut off one of their main pipelines to, to the EU. They are in trouble. It's a good job we're in the summer months because this is, if this had took place in winter, oh boy. You know, people are always going, okay, well, look, maybe we don't need to panic so much because oil's coming down. Um, this is natural gas, sorry. Um, you know, ultimately, this is what we expect. We're, dr we're drawn this, but we smashed right through it. I think natural gas comes back up, by the way. Um, I just We just were wrong with it, about it coming up here. Um, you've kind of deviated maybe here from this line, and then you're going to see that continuation. You know, gas had sold off. Wheat shocks me because that's at pre-invasion levels, by the way. You know, but it's very much holding. You know, you've got, you've got to let me draw a proper line here. Um, and these can all spike back up just as quickly as they've spiked back down. That's the thing with volatile markets, guys. Um, and we're in the summer months. So in regards to oil and gas, you know, there's a there's a slight, you know, fundamental reason for them to be selling off. Let's take a look at the dollar. We told you that we had targets for 110 for the dollar way back before it had even broke 100. And it's now actually broke the um euro parity level parity level so a dollar is worth the same amount as a euro why is this happening well we said once we started broken out from here that this is getting pushed up based on fear so people are running to the dollar in fear we took a look at the asian market this morning um you know negative uk market i just look at the FTSE basically and various other stocks but mainly the FTSE. not the most positive this is all contagion for the cryptocurrency space. And really, the big thing to watch today is how does your US stock market open? Maybe it opens up positively, given that Pepsi uh, Co. have actually seen a, a, a positive revenue. But do your banks suggest that? You know, you've got to remember, these are lagging in many ways, the, these, these earnings, because they're for the prior um, half. So it's not really until the next lot of earnings come around next year that we'll, we'll get the true story. But even still... I think earnings could show a, a, a slight um, issue. You also have the current situation very much intensifying, certainly in regards to the, how the media are um, portraying it. I, I, you know, I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I'm not on the ground. I, I don't know what, you know, the, the, the ins and outs are, and I, I, I couldn't comment. But certainly the media coverage that we're getting um, is that things are really intensifying over where the issue is um and it's essentially saying here that you know uh it's intensifying attacks on east ukraine um, and gas supply concerns deep and as pipeline is shutting down yeah so so why would you want to be an investor in this market and i know the saying out there that goes by you know blood in the streets by fear we're going to be buying fear best believe me but not until people stop telling you to do that it's so like the bottom callers for Bitcoin, until they go away, the bottom isn't in. Until the top callers for the DXY go away, it's not in. And we keep on with that mantra. We keep keeping on with the trend until we see reason to suggest otherwise. Whether that be a bullish divergence across, I use 20 plus indicators. These are just some of my favorite that you guys can put in the chart. And we can teach you guys, and I'm going to do a series on how you can use indicators. It's my goal to be a um, chart technician, essentially, a market technician. You know, that's really what I want to do, um, and uh, among various other things. And we're determined to nail markets moving forward. Never going to get every call right, but I think we've kept people very safe from round about here. Didn't get out here? Yeah, okay, that would have been perfect. You see all these people gloating on Twitter, but they've made plenty of calls wrong still. Um, you know, lots of people were expecting this. And we did say there was always a scenario, you know, this could have been a W double bottom of sorts. The issue you've got is you've very much invalidated that now and are very much free falling. And this is just more of a range bound environment, just like the range bound environment um, that you had up here and prior to that up here. You know, you're just forming another bear flag and you're ultimately going to fall out of it. And we've been saying this for a very long time. 
Uh, very much catching on with people now calling things bear flags. I wonder where they got those ideas from. Um, but anyway, neither here nor there. You know, we we originally took the idea, certainly with these bear flags, from uh, Francis Hunt, which is the market sniper, who's somebody you should all be following because he's got a really good macro view of everything. So the main objective of this video was to go through this tweet. You know, we put this yesterday on my Twitter, update my Patreons daily, trade with my Patreons. You know, we're trying to make money in a, in a downtrending market. If I can double my portfolio in a bear market, or if I can up my portfolio by a thousand percent in a bear market, a brutal market where most people are losing money, that's something you should pay attention to. Um, but we will reveal all the results as we as we press forwards. All I've got for you in this video, guys, of course, if you have enjoyed this content, a like is always appreciated, so as a comment. If you want to check out my Patreon, there's a link in the description. It's well worth the £30 of value for the top tier that I charge. Um, you will get £30 worth of value out of it. And if you don't, you can always cancel your subscription. All I've got to say on the matter, guys, enjoy your Tuesdays. Watch out for the US stock market open, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.